Hello, my name is Neil Chan and today I want to answer a question that I get quite often and that is, how long does it actually take to make a fingerstyle arrangement? Well, my answer for me is that it takes pretty fast because I've done the process so many times. But I think the better answer would be it depends on two main factors. One is how long you've been doing and practicing the technique of arranging fingerstyle songs. And another is how difficult is the song in itself. So a simple song with a simple melody and simple harmonies will be pretty fast. Whereas if you've got all these complex harmonies and the, and the, the key starts to shift here and there and you've got rhythm changes, of course, that's going to take quite a bit more time. All right, but I'm going to jump straight into it. I'm going to demonstrate to you how I arrange a fingerstyle song in real time right now. So no edits, no cuts on this clip. It's just me talking and arranging it right now. So just a quick note. Um, I'm going to be choosing a song that I have heard before, but I've never actually arranged it or played it in whatever key that it's going to be in because I'm going to just take my phone and go to iTunes, right? I found this album um, by Calvin Gilmore. It's an it's a album of hymns, traditional hymns. So I love hymns. Um, I took a short listen to his, some of his music. He sings in this really beautiful, deep voice. Um, I'm just going to pick the first song on this album. It's called There Is A Fountain. And uh, I've not arranged this piece um, according to how he's singing it before. So let's take a short listen. The first thing we're going to do is figure out what the key is. Okay, so let's go. So what I'm going to, I'm going to sing and try to find where the tonic is. Okay, I found my tonic. Okay, I'm going to pause this first. Just from singing, I'm able to feel that this is the home note. So I'm going to find where this note is. Okay, this is a G. So we are in the key of G major. Right, and um, G major scale. I'm just gonna play the G major scale here. And I can play it here as well. So this is very important to have your scale. So I haven't even heard the song yet and I've already got the scale. So I know where notes I'm, I'm gonna be using are. And the next step, and I talk about this a lot in my lessons, is the importance of using solfege. Um, solfege is basically putting a sung syllable to every note in the scale. And this tells me immediately where in the scale this note is. Okay, so um, in solfege, the G major scale goes... Oh, it is really low. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. The higher octave. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do ti la so fa mi re do do ti la so fa mi re do. All right, so that's in solfege. So, for example, if I say a so, so I know immediately it's the fifth scale degree. So la ti do five six seven one. All right, so I've got more videos on solfege if you want to check out and go a little bit more in depth. But that's a key technique. As a guitarist, you need to know it so that um, you are more aware of what notes you are playing rather than it's just a fretboard number and a, a position on the guitar. So that's just numbers, whereas with solfege, you're going to be able to understand the music. All right, so let's get back to our song. I'm going to rewind it a little bit. Um, we've already got the rhythm. I can remember it's a bit like... Da -dum, da -dum, bum. Okay, so something like this. So this is the tempo. Um, tempo is really easy to figure out. And now what we're going to do, we're going to listen to his singing and figure out what the melody is. Okay, this is just the intro, we don't care about that. Alright, so the melody to me is Da, 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 Alright, so that's me singing the melody in uh, garbage syllables, scat singing. But the beauty of solfege is that that melody immediately translates to the solfege syllables in my head. So it's da, 
Um, so this sounds like the tonic. Dum is so low for B. Do, do, mi, so, la, so, do, do, la, so, do, mi, so, so, la, so, mi, do, re. All right, I can do it an octave higher, so it's a little bit more comfortable. Do, mi, so, la, so, do, do, la, so, do, mi, so, so, la, so, mi, do, re. Alright, so just with that phrase alone, um, I can figure it out on the scale because I've sung it in solfege and I know exactly where the notes are. This is Do, Mi, So, La, So, Do, Do, La, So, Do, Mi, So, So, La, So, Mi, Do, Re. And that's done. Alright, let's go to the next phrase. So beautiful. Um, that phrase, da, na, 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 in my head, that's do, mi, so, la, so, do, do, la, so. And then, uh, I don't know, I, I have to figure out the solfege now. So I hear the melody, da, 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 da. So what's that in solfege? Na. Okay, this sounds like the tonic note to me. So, no, re, mi, do, re, mi, re, do. That, I think that's right. All right, so that whole phrase. Do, mi, so, do, mi, so, la, so, do, do, la, so, do, re, mi, do, re, mi, re, do. All right, that's it. Um, I think there's more to this song. Um, let's continue. Alright, let's keep going. And sinners plunge beneath that flood, lose all their guilty stains. Alright, um, that phrase. Um, oh, okay, it starts like this. Ba da 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 na na. Da 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 do da. Okay, so that first part. Na do re mi do re mi re do la do la so so la so mi do re. Oh, so low. Uh, do re mi do re mi re do la la do la so. So la so mi do no re mi do mi so. See, I made a mistake there, um, but it's okay. You know, I figured out that it's actually not do re mi, but it's do mi so la so do do la so do re mi do re mi re do. So that phrase do mi so. have it. Alright, so let me just play through the, the entire song. Um, it might take a little bit longer if it's a brand new song, but because I've heard this song, but not in this arrangement before, I'm a bit more familiar with the tune. So, in solfege, right from the start, it starts this low. Um, I'm going to play it an octave higher, so it's a bit easier for me, okay? Do, re, mi Sorry. Do, mi, so, la, so, do, So, so, la, so, mi, do, re Do, mi, so, la, so, do, do La, so, do, re, mi, do, re, mi, re, do Do, re, mi, do, re, mi, re, do La, do, la, so, so, la, so, mi, do, re do mi so la so do do la so 
do re mi do re mi re do all right so i've got the melody down and um, the next step is we're just going to figure out what's the chords that underlie it um so using solfege, I know what notes are singing within that musical phrase, and I'm going to pick chords that have that note inside of them. So for example, I'm um, starting with do mi so la so. Now do mi so one three five. That immediately tells me it's a one chord. So it's pretty simple. And um, with this melody, I'm going to just play the bass of the one chord. So let's just start with the bass note of each chord. So. So this note, it sounds like the harmony is changing. So do do. So here do mi so on a one chord la so do do. The harmony changes on that note, and that's a do note. So um, I know that the four chord has note do in it. So I'm immediately just gonna use my gut instinct and go play the fourth chord the, with the bass, which is C major chord. So I'm just gonna play the C note. Do do. La, so. so we've got do mi so la so do do la so back to do do mi so so la so mi do re. All right, on the re note, it sounds like the harmony is changing. And re note number two, in scale degree number two, I immediately know that's going to be the five chord. It's pretty obvious once you've done this for a while. Do re re. Okay, so. Um, I'm using the five chord, which is a D, and then back to the main melody. Do mi so one chord, la so do do four chord, which is C bass, la so do re mi. All right, mi here changes chord again. I think it's going to a one chord. Yeah, so I'm just playing the the root note of the one chord, which is G. Mi do re. Okay, re is telling me it's a five chord. Back to the one chord. Do, and then the next part of the melody, it's Do, Re, Mi. This is a one chord. Do, Re, Mi, Re, Do. Oh, no. Okay, I think that's Do, Re, Mi. Yeah, that's correct. One chord. Do, Re, Mi, Re, Do. Alright, this Do is going to be a four chord because four chord has the note scale degree number one in it. So I'm going to play Do, La, Do. Ah, and this la do gives me another clue because la is also in the four chord. Do la do la so. All right, so it could be either chord number five or it could be chord number one. In this case, it sounds more like it's going to a home feel, so I'm going to chord number one. La so so la so mi do re ah, and then re tells me it's going to chord number five, which is D. And then back to the same melody, which is do mi so, do mi so, definitely a one chord, la so do do, same to the four chord, la so do do re mi, and it's a one chord, do re five chord, mi re do, and then back to the one chord, and that's the whole song, I think. Yeah, that should be the whole song. Um, so I'm gonna play this out. And I'm figuring it out as I go along, I promise. Um, with just the bass and the melody here, okay? So it goes. Do mi so la so do do la so do mi so so la so mi do Five chord. Do mi so la so do do la so do re mi one chord. Five, mi, re, do, one chord. Do, do, re, mi, one chord. Do, re, mi, re, do, four. La, do, la, so, so, la, so, mi, do, re, five. Do, mi, so, la, so, do, do, la, so, do, re, mi, one, do, re, five. Back to the one chord. Alright, I've done the skeleton of my fingerstyle arrangement right now.
Now, that, that's the hard part. And all you need to do now is just fill in, fill in the remaining notes with just notes of the chord that you're playing. Make sure the melody is sitting on top. And then um, you can play this in so many variations, but we've just got the outline. We understand the music and the rhythm behind this song. And that's the way to make fingerstyle arrangements. All right, so I'm going to play it through. Um, I'm going to try to play it through my best. And I'm going to... Um, fill in each of the, the chords and the melodies with other notes improvised to make it in, increase the texture, make it a bit thicker, make it a bit more melodious, make it a bit um, more beautiful, in my opinion. All right, so this is, the song is called There is a Fountain, and let me play it through this fingerstyle arrangement. Let's go. So that's the basic arrangement. You can, of course, do other things to it. Uh, if I want to groove it up a little. All right, you can do all kinds of things. You can even change the key um, because we started in G major, but by this technique, right, I can play this in any key that I want to. So let me go to B major and you can play exactly the same thing. Let's try D major, right? So this is a different position now. All right, <laughs> so just transposing it, changing key on the spot, right? You can do so much with this technique. Well, I hope that has been eye-opening for you. I do hope to do another video um, where I'm doing a completely new song that I've never heard before. Um, and it's possible, uh, I'm sure. Um, we'll see how it goes anyway. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Um, do keep practicing. Uh, remember, solfege is very important. And practicing this technique, understanding how to form your shapes, the chord shapes, and move them up and down the neck, and playing the scales in various positions along the neck, and singing them in solfege. All these things are going to improve your musicianship and allow you to make fingerstyle arrangements on the spot like that. All right? So until next time, I will see you again. Goodbye.